Voters in Switzerland have approved a ban on the minaret, as right-wing parties claim the towers on mosques symbolize a political religious claim to power. The surprise result is an embarrassment to the historically neutral government, with the UN human rights watchdog already voicing its concern. Sky's Robin Powell reports. It's the shock result the Swiss government had dreaded, and it reverberate right across the Western world. In a referendum, the Swiss people have voted to approve a ban on the building of minarets. 57.5% of those who voted were in favour. The Yes campaign had argued that minarets aren't just religious symbols, but political ones, and that Islamization is incompatible with Swiss democracy. Forced marriages and other things like cemeteries separating the pure and impure. We don't have that in Switzerland. We don't want to introduce it. Therefore, there's no room for minarets in Switzerland. Opponents claim the ban is discriminatory. Currently, only four Swiss mosques have minarets. Many have applied for planning permission and been refused it. It's already illegal to broadcast a call to prayer outside a mosque. There are up to 400,000 Muslims in Switzerland, mostly from Turkey and the former Yugoslavia. Some say the ballot has stirred religious hatred. Other countries are wrestling with similar issues. In France, where the wearing of the full veil or burqa was banned in state schools five years ago, President Sarkozy recently called for a complete ban. The extent to which European cultures should accommodate Islamic traditions is firmly on the agenda. Robin Powell, Sky News.